or if I gain, they lose sight of thee, and lose heart, and shrink from thee. Then what thoughts were they thinking when they fell? Those were thoughts of you, my love, dear love. Great writers have inspired generations of people, ones with the names like Shakespeare and Ibsen. But this wasn't written by human. Our day-to-day -day lives are becoming more and more dependent on communication. But reaching proficiency with a new language, it hasn't gotten any easier. Many schools and curriculums now require a mandatory foreign language commitment. Yet, what most students are capable of, even after four years of dedicated education, are still on the bare minimum in the basic phrases. Moreover, forms of literature have generally become stagnant of evolving. Though ways of accessing literature have greatly increased due to technology, most modern forms of creative writing are still derived from creations many hundreds of years ago. In this talk, we'll uh, discuss a drastically new approach to this issue, as well as its potential real-world real applications. The excerpt that we read at the beginning of our presentation was actually written by an RNN, an artificial intelligence that was built on an adaptive transformer architecture and trained on a modified set of data. But what is a neural net? A neural net is a tool using artificial intelligence used to capture and identify patterns. <clears throat> neural nets uh, function analogously to the human brain, hence its name. And they're composed of neurons, which are simple building blocks that execute a yes or no function. Despite its inherent simplicity, collectively they can reach mesmerizing and complex results. We trained our AI on all 154 of Shakespeare's sonnets and Henrik Ibsen's plays. Now, the result, results here may seem trivial, but the AI was able to recognize grammar, punctuation, words, and most importantly, the general structure of all texts from the ground up. Deeper connections, such as analogies, are also present throughout uh, the excerpt. Recent advancements in neural net made uh, AI mimicking texts quite good. We made a fusion of Ibsen and Shakespeare's plays. Though fundamentally, we coined the term artificial intelligence, the AI is not quite intelligent yet. Though this means that it will have its pitfalls, it also means that it is capable of something that human minds are too shallow for. For example, fusing text in the situation. The first that comes to the eye is the general structure. The AI has adopted more dominant structures of dialogues and character actions as opposed to stanzas offered uh, by sonnets. Uh, uh, then, the, at the second glance, though, we see deeper and more, uh, more in-depth connections than what we saw at first, the first glance. Uh, the, the two characters engage in grammatical, eloquent, and consistent conversations, and each have their own unique perspectives, knowledge, and opinion. Uh, despite being structurally more inclined to Ibsen's plays, we can find, that, uh, we can find through this excerpt uh, traces of Shakespearean language his vocabulary, his grammar, and uh, his punctuation. The themes of love and parting, which, were, which played a major role in Shakespearean sonnets, are also present throughout the conversation. This means that our AI is not only capable of recognizing details and characteristics that lie on the micro end, but also it can look at the general direction and theme of the input. The two most prominent playwrights all of their own period was fused into one. Applications of machines on laborious, creative, or even previously impossible tasks are now uh, enabled through neural nets. Such capabilities mean that when offering a new language course, won't be limited off to starting completely new, rather offering a fusion of familiar and unfamiliar text. But this has much more profound implications, however, as we are uh, enabled, uh, we, we are offered with an entirely new form of literature and writing. We believe that stepping into a new era, we are enabled with scientific approaches to creative problems. Thank you. Thank you.